It seems retail investors often get a bad deal at Robinhood. Mr. Tanev, also, or while you testified today that, quote, Robinhood's customers benefit greatly from payment for order flow, quote, unquote, in December 2020, the SEC charged Robinhood for not disclosing that it was getting uh, paid to send customer trades to Citadel Securities and other market makers and for not seeking the best terms for its customers' orders. Robinhood provided such inferior trade prices it cost your customers over $34 million. Is your testimony after Robinhood paid uh, is it your testimony after Robin had paid the SEC $65 million to settle those charges that this conflict of interest is in your customer's best interest? Yes or no? Chairwoman Waters, first, let me say regulatory compliance is at the center of everything that we do. We've made mistakes in the past. I'm not claiming that. But yes or no to that question. So Citadel Securities is an important counterparty. Nobody's denying that. The reason that- Gentlemen, can I answer yes or no? I'm reclaiming my time. Mr. Tenev, you stated in your testimony that Robin Hood restricted trading for certain securities, including GameStop, in order to meet your financial requirements with your clearinghouse. But when I go to Robin Hood's website, and the blog post you initially released on January 28th, your financial requirements with your clearinghouse are not mentioned. You only mention market volatility. And when I review the Robinhood customer agreement, you don't include specifics on how and when you may decide to, to, res to restrict trading, which you did. And you don't include any language or disclosures regarding your capital requirements. It only includes vague language that at any time and in its sole discretion, Robinhood can restrict trading. In other words, you seem to reserve the right to make up the rules as you go along. Look, I'm sorry for what happened. Um, I apologize. And I'm not going to say that Robinhood did everything perfect and that we haven't made mistakes in the past. But what, what I commit to is making sure that we improve from this, we learn from it, and we don't make the same mistakes in the future. And Robinhood as an organization will learn from this and improve to make sure it doesn't happen again. And I'll make sure of that.